All right, tools you need for a door panel. 2015 Chrysler 300. And we will go with needle nose. Show you what that's for. Pry tool, you might not need it, but we got it. Little flat, tiny amp screwdriver. You could use something small, but nice and thin. Get behind the plastic. Screw gun. And my homemade doctor's chair. Basket, milk jug. Perfect height for working on cars. So, real life, we got a screw right here, hidden. I'll show you. In this little stop. It's one. And then, the next tool is this guy. We're gonna go right behind this little crack right here. A little snap, crackle, and pop. That's all you are. Tip. One back here. In the actual handle, pry down, pry in. Come on, puppy. Go under, go under, under, and she pops out. That's it. Just another hidden screw. Pop this guy out. There's a flathead one. Don't mix them up. And then we got another one. Alright. Now using this tool. A little screw, a little screwdriver. Be careful not to push too hard. This little center pops in. And then you can use the same tool to get behind it and pop it out toward you. You don't want to push too hard because this guy will be pushed in. And lost forever. Well, not really forever. You can dig for it. Take about three and a half minutes. And then here's where the screwdriver and needle nose come into play. That little tab right here. I'm idiotic with their Chrysler backward clips. The clips gotta get pushed in as it pulled out. And then this is what you need with the needle nose. This little guy needs to be squeezed. See? That little squeeze action. And then you just sort of use its own pressure to pull her out. Come on, puppy. Come on. Come on. Turn out. See ya. Now, this is the debate. Do you use this to get behind the door? You could. I just like grab and put your hand underneath. Just pull sturdy steadily. And then the whole thing just pops upward and outward. Now, this is actually not supposed to come off with the door. This is actually supposed to stay on the car, but that's what this guy's good for. Get in between, and I'll take this guy out to show you why it's easier just to keep it on, because they are such a pain to come off while it's on the door. You might actually, you might actually break something taking it off. And I'll show you why. We will tag little tabs are supposed to be squeezed so it's almost impossible with the doors on the door panel is actually on the door so you just line back up to where you got them and it's just about one way one side fits where it came out of just slides underneath down 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 and you're good so we can get to the speaker six by nine same thing down here is a clip for the light. Same same principle. Push the clip in first before you pull. This is for the actual switches. Same thing. Reach around for this little clip. It's kind of hidden. It's kind of up under. And you're good to go. And do the opposite. Just line them up. We got an alignment here. 
lines right there. Alignment here. You really can't mess it up going backwards. You gotta be careful. They're a little longer than the actual pins. So you get these first. And then just go in reverse. Don't forget to put over this guy. These just pop in. Back in. And that's it. Line it up. Push it back in.